Hello and welcome to the Faculty of Law. We're here today to give you a tour of the faculty. My name is Maya and this is Emil and we're both students here at the Faculty of Law. Today we will give you an insight of what it's like to study law at Lund University and we will also show you the building's facilities and tell you a bit about its history. Juridicum, as the building is called, and as you can see from the sign above me, is located in the center of Lund, just a few minutes away from the shopping streets, the medieval park Lundagård, and the central station. And since 1996, the students reside in two different buildings. Juridicum, which is one of the buildings, is the one right behind us, and that contains lecture halls, group study rooms, single-person study places, and as well as the library. And the other building, Trykeriet, which means old printing house, is right across the street. And there we have our largest lecture hall, Puffendorfsalen, and also some group study places. As you might have suspected, the faculty wasn't founded in 1996. The faculty was actually one of the first four faculties back when the university was founded in 1666. The other three faculties were the Faculty of Medicine, the Faculty of Theology, and the Faculty of Philosophy. Coming from the main entrance, we enter the lobby. This is the location for both the cafe and the reception. The cafe is usually very busy and a hotspot for law students. In the reception, the nice staff will help you with everything from navigating in the facilities to booking group study rooms and lending books from the library. They're also here to help you make your student card. What can I help you with? The receptionists are all students here at the faculty, so they know everything about what happens here and in Lund as a whole. They are also very familiar with how it feels of being a new and lost student, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. They will help you. If we pass the reception, we end up in the library. This library, in fact, holds one of the largest collections of legal literature in Northern Europe. This is the place to borrow all the legal books you need. And if you have any questions, our knowledgeable librarians will help you. They're only here a few hours per week, so be sure to catch them while they're here. When the faculty moved here in 1996, the students actually got to vote on what kind of architecture we would have in our new premises. The students decided it would be a combination of marble, brass and mahogany, as you can see on this reception desk behind me. There's a lot of study spots here in the library. It offers everything from these comfy chairs to the quiet study hall. You will want to make sure that you're quiet in the quiet study hall though, because there might be angry looks coming after you otherwise. If you prefer a different vibe, I can recommend studying here at the balcony. This is a spot where talking is allowed, but of course at the lower volume. The faculty also has two computer rooms, as well as several study rooms. This is one of the computer rooms where students can use the computers if they not, don't have one of their own, or if they left it at home. Uh, the group study rooms are bookable, but all the other study places are free to use as long as they're available. The third floor is the newest addition to the building. This is a space for group discussions and there's also a few uh, group study rooms that you can book in the reception. This table and the chandeliers behind me were actually gifted from the Court of Appeal when they moved to a new building. As you can see on both the chandelier and some of the chairs, there are a few royal crowns. This is because in the old days, the Court of Appeal sentenced in the name of the king. On the fourth floor, you will find a staff room. However, this is not only the place for the employees to get their daily coffee. This is also the place where both uh, conferences and celebrations are held. Around the faculty, you will see the faculty's seal. The motto of the seal is Suum Kvikve, which means to each his own. And just behind me is one example of the seal, where the Roman lion holds the symbol of justice with the sword and the scales. The faculty received the seal back in 1666 when it was inaugurated by the then king of Sweden. And the motto actually dates back to ancient Rome, where the Roman Senate used it to disrupt the Greek influence over the Roman court. In this hallway, you will find the study counselling and the study administrators. This is where you will get help with your studies or your time in Lund. 
right behind me you will find Tryckeriet, or as it's called in English, the old printing house. And also in this yard you will find Raoul Wallenberg Institute, which main focus is human rights law. And they have, they have a really strong connection to Lund University. The first professor of the Faculty of Law and the University as a whole was named Samuel Puffendorf. The Faculty of Law has in fact one of the few remaining portraits of Samuel Puffendorf and it hangs right here in one of our main buildings. Samuel Puffendorf was actually handpicked by the King of Sweden, Charles XI. And the two became such good friends that Puffendorf was elected to write the history books on all Swedish monarchs. And one of the books he wrote is actually preserved right here at the faculty. The biggest lecture hall at the faculty is actually named after Puffendorf himself, and you can see it right here behind me. The Puffendorf Hall accommodates for 173 students. Here in Tryckeriet, where we're located right now, there is also a lot of other study halls as well as group study rooms. And with that, we'd like to bring this tour to an end. We hope you have enjoyed to see our premises and we really hope that you will be able to see it for yourself one day.